evidence is clear from the web that people are worried about a slowdown. For instance, the number of people searching the internet for money off vouchers has more than tripled. More and more people are looking for information about budget shops. Uh, that searches are up around about 10%. Our holiday habits are changing. Searches for villas have fallen by 50%, but twice as many people are looking at camping sites. And worries about the housing market price is clear. The number of people searching for information on house prices has fallen sharply over the last year. Well, joining me now from our central London studio, Robin Goad from Hitwise, who put those numbers together. When did you start tracking this downturn, Robin? Uh, when we look at our data, it seems to be about since last summer we've seen indications of, um, for example, house price uh, searches decreasing and people looking more at budget retailers um, versus some of the more mainstream retailers. Um, and when, how severe is it? I mean, is this as, as dramatic as it gets in terms of recent web history? Um, I think in terms of recent web history, because the web's only really been a popular medium during you know, the boom times, as it were, I think, I think this is probably the most dramatic decline we've seen in some of these key metrics. Um, you know, for example, you, you saw that the money off vouchers increases there, the, the search of them have trebled over the last year, um, which is definitely a big increase in terms of consumer behaviour. Interesting reading on one of the blogs um, in a related story about this is that, that health and beauty is the place apparently to get into between now and 2012. It's one of the only areas of the economy, according to this blogger anyway, that is really going to show any kind of um, economic cheer. The rest of us, it seems belt tightening and misery. It, it's pretty gloomy, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is pretty gloomy actually. I and mean, one thing that we've notice actually is we've seen I think you mentioned there's been an increase in traffic to sort of budget retailers um, and, and a decrease in traffic to the, the more standard retailers um, although one area where there is a little bit of a difference is the the top end of the economy so when we look at people selling you know very high-end goods and very high-end retailers um, such as Selfridges, Harrods, um, th those sort of retailers they're actually seeming to weather this storm quite well uh, and I think this seems to shy quite nicely with some of the, the the analysis we've seen whereby it's the middle of the market that's getting squeezed um, uh, whereas the top end of the market, at the moment at least, uh, remains relatively immune to this. Um, here's another site just trying to do their own analysis of the things that are stacking up against us. The weaker pound, for instance. Um, darling, 16 billion black hole. Well, I mean, economists argue about these. There's various models, aren't there? And I've seen in the sort of political and economic d debate as to whether or not this money, even the relatively small amount of money he needs to sort out the 10p tax rebate, as it were, uh, there's questions of whether he's allowed to do that under the monetary rules. Um, but more cost shocks coming from aboard, mission creep, I suppose. It's another um, article that's uh, being uh, thought of on, on this site here. It doesn't look good for a government that used to be so much, put so much store by economic competence, does it? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think one of the, you know, one of the areas that, that is obviously keyed to a lot of people is house prices and we've seen um, you know as the house prices were rising we saw people searching more and more for house prices and going to the house price type websites um, since about the middle of last summer actually we start to see those those um, searches for house prices decline uh, which is I think quite an interesting indicator whereas if you look at the um, this year so, so from from January to now we've actually seen a doubling in in searches for the term house price crashes um, so people are obviously oh, yeah. concerned that there's a house price crash around the corner um, and their internet behavior is very much reflecting this. Okay, good to talk to you Robin, thanks for that. Robin Goad from Thank Hitwise, you. who put all that statistics together for us. Thank you.